approach and um, then you'll see how it looks and hopefully you you stick it out to the end of this I don't want anyone leaving early I want you to see the finished product because that's what I'm here for I'm here to draw so hopefully you'll enjoy it hopefully I'll learn something and you'll learn something maybe you won't I don't know we'll see so um, I'm gonna finish up his hair here I like that little flip I'm exaggerating that both the one that goes up and down and I'm going to just erase this, hollow this out so those lines are the important ones. And then I'll just add a few lines for texture in there. You can see I'm rushing a little bit more here than I did before because I just want to get this one finished. I think I've taken enough of your time today. Your time is as important as mine. I'm sure. All right. I often think if while I'm recording this, if it uh, I've already had one podcast, it didn't work out, it didn't record right, and the file was corrupt. It was of the Bruce Campbell painting that I have on my blog a little while back, and um, I always think, what if I'm talking, sitting here talking for a half hour, an hour, and it doesn't record any of it? That would be funny. I'd be like a crazy person sitting here, but I'd probably be sitting here talking to myself anyway. I know my girlfriend's thinking that if she ever watches this. Thanks, Danielle. Such a sweetie. And probably my friend Ken is thinking that too. I love Ken. Alright, so I think I'm pretty much done. Let me just indicate this ear and this neck. Another person you want to check out is um, a guy who has a blog called Process Junkie, I believe. Obsessions of or Confessions of a Process Junkie or something like that. His name is Alberto Ruiz, R-U-I-Z. That guy draws nice line work. He draws women, draws guns, stuff that guys can enjoy, you know. And uh, the way he draws with his line, it's not about the women or the guns. It's the quality, man. So I'm trying to, trying to feel a little bit of his soul in this piece, and I'm doing okay. But, man, if you saw his lines, you would wonder what you're wasting your time watching my video for. But that's all right. Go check out his blog if you can find it. Sometimes it's hard to find. Um, but it's really good. I've got it linked on my blog, so just go to joebloom.blogspot.com and you can you can go see Alberto Ruiz. Just go to the links section. All right. So this is uh, about done. Drop this in. I'm going to shortcut those areas. And there we go. There's Bill Murray. I'm going to drop this down just a little bit. There we go for composition. And now I'm going to add some color real quick just underneath it just to make it look like a finished piece. I'm going to just uh, pick a nice orangey peach color, kind of pale. And I want it to be bright and I'll just play with the saturation of it. So here I'm going to make this as solid as a brush I can. A nice big brush and I'm just going to block in an area. It's underneath the line. I'm using layers here. I'm on a separate layer for this color. And it looks bright. It looks like you're blinding yourself all of a sudden. Wow. And I can just overlap that to make sure I got all the areas that I want. And I can just go back and erase a little bit of it. So I'll go back in here, make sure I have everything. And then I'll erase just a little bit. Make sure that's a solid eraser. There we go. Now sometimes you can get a neat little screen printed look by erasing certain areas that overlap with the drawing or by uh, taking every color that you do and shifting it in, in a direction that's inconsistent so it looks like it's wrong. That's not what I'm going to do here but uh, you can uh, try that. It's an interesting stylistic choice I see a lot of artists use. It looks like it's retro. looks pretty cool but um, it's not what I'm doing right now. It's not what I'm about right now. He's got some blue eyes. I'm just going to erase this right here because I like the color of those eyes. I'll just leave that in the background and it'll relate to it. Simplify it. I'm going to add his hair color a nice warm grayish white. Don't want to erase, want to draw. Just doing some other layers so I don't have to worry about running up against that edge of the peach. Working in layers can be a time-saving advantage. So right now, look, instead of worrying about both edges, I can just go right underneath this peach and I'm not overlapping it because it's a layer underneath it. And anyone who knows Photoshop very well is saying, well, duh, you idiot. But 
<laughs> it's just something that some people might not know, and if I can help one person, that's really cool. I'm I'm all about that. So there's the old uh, dark hair or light hair Bill Murray. I'm gonna make that color um, just a little a uh, little darker. There we go. I like that. I didn't affect the top because that's on a separate layer. And now I'm just going to do his collar and use the white to my advantage. I'll just keep the colors that are here. I could invent stuff, but um, it's just easy for me right now to work with what I've got in front of me. Just for time's sake. If I had a little more time, I would probably make solid decisions about this rather than just using what I'm observing. So for the likeness in the face, you can use what you're observing, but when it comes to the actual choice of his uh, color scheme, you can be as inventive as you want with that. That's what's great. All right. So you can see this is pretty much finished. Um, I don't know. I would ask you what you would like to see me do right now as far as uh, just having fun with some colors. You can add a couple layers of shading and shadows. I'm just going to keep this one line based for now um, because uh, just running out of time. What I am going to do is I'm going to draw an interesting shape with this lasso tool. Nice, uh, I'll even feather it a little bit. And I'm going to have fun making him look rosy. Just outlining the area that I want to focus on. And I'm going to create a new layer and just fill that with a slightly pinker color and slightly darker. And I can always play with the opacity, so I'm going to overdo it. Whoops. All right, I lost some of that selection, so I'm just going to go with this area. There we go. And then I'm going to drop that down, drop the opacity down a little bit on that. And then it's just kind of cute. So I'll take the background, paint a little bit, vary the color a little. Just having some fun with uh, just a just an abstract shape that indicates like maybe a mountain range or something in the background, reminiscent of some of his movie roles. And he likes to golf in the mountains. I know that, so that's just that's just fun to me. So there we go. I'm going to make this a little darker and a little less saturated. And there you are. It is Bill Murray as a little line drawing cartoon. This is Joe Bloom saying goodbye. Uh, check out JoeBloom.com and RejectsTheBook.com. And I hope you check out uh, another podcast at another time.